So two months ago, a student came to me very, very worried. He said that I have a seven out of ten GPA in my undergrad, and every university in the US and across the board is asking me for a minimum three GPA out of four. Now seven would dictate that I have a two point eight out of four. Therefore, I can't apply anywhere. My life is finished. What do I do? Well, this was the story that he told me, and I'm here to tell you that's not the way you convert GPAs, my friends. Watch this video to find out how GPAs are converted, what you should worry about, and what you shouldn't worry about. As a bonus tip, I will tell you what. good gpa is in admissions committee's mind in your own scale out of 10 or in a percentage therefore you'll have complete clarity by the time you're done watching so if you are watching this video i'm sure you're planning a masters abroad If you are then you should check out this video series that we started which is the most comprehensive guide for anyone looking to apply to a masters abroad. You can check out that playlist by clicking right over here. All right. So like I mentioned a GPA conversion from a 10 scale or a 100 scale to a 4 point scale is not a direct conversion. It's a scaled conversion. Therefore a 7 out of 10 is not a 2.8 out of 4. You have to understand that for most US universities a GPA requirement of 3 out of 4 is the minimum passing grade. If you have passed all your subjects without too many backlogs then you will likely have a GPA of over 3 on a scale of 4. Therefore don't worry too much about it. You can still apply without fear. Now how do you convert your GPA? Well, there are free tools on offer. One of the most popular tools that a lot of universities recommend is the Scholaro free conversion tool, which you can use at any point of time in the year before you apply for a masters to try and understand what your GPA is looking like on a scale of 4. Now this may not be 100% accurate, but it will be pretty useful. Also, this tool is free, so you're most welcome. Most often however you don't even have to convert GPAs into a scale of 4 for a lot of foreign universities if you submit your transcript they have their own conversion metrics and they will take a decision based on that conversion metric so what you need to understand is what a good GPA is in your own scale in the admissions committee's minds Now usually if you have a GPA of 9 out of 10 it is an outstanding GPA needless to say often times a GPA of 9 plus is considered a perfect 4 on 4 in the admissions committee's minds now this is not a hard fact it's just an interpretation according to what we've seen but by and large this works out to be true now when you use converters of course depending on the university and the grading scale uh, this scale might vary a little bit but by and large an 8 gpa plus is considered a 3.5 plus which is also a very very good gpa anything over a 7.5 out of 10 is decent of course you cannot apply to the very top tier of universities with around a 7.5 but you can still get into some decent schools anything below a 7 out of 10 proves to be a problem it's not like you cannot get into any school but perhaps the very best top 20 top 30 schools can be out of your reach usually now if your gpa is low don't worry if you still have solid research papers projects work experience or anything else that is relevant to the major that you are applying to it can sort of compensate for a lower gpa but this doesn't change the fact that your gpa is the most critical aspect of your profile in the minds of the admissions committee now that we've covered the question of the gpa you must be wondering how admissions committees evaluate profiles how important is the gre how important are your projects how important is the rest of your profile well i've covered all that and you can watch this in a youtube video the link to which i put right over here so do click on that and check it out thank you for watching this video and i hope you found it useful if you have any further questions you can always schedule a free consultation with us at gradwine.com Apart from that before you leave please like share and subscribe to our channel because we have a lot more fantastic information coming your way